Hello to all. Welcome again on my channel, The Rich Port. First of all, I want to say thank you to all because today I have reached YouTube 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. Now come to the point. Now I'm showing. I'm now I am showing you on my Angular application screen the full calendar. And this video is based on Angular plus Node.js plus Express plus JavaScript. On my Angular application, you can see the JavaScript full calendar. And here you can see one simple event and the title of this event is event1 and this event is coming from the node.js backend and this is the main thing in my last post I have shown the example of angular with node with express but now I will come with one more new feature javascript for calendar now I am going to show you my node server running here is my node server and I have made one custom JSON data events you can see start date end date and title title is event 1 and that is coming fine on date 23 here first of all now come to angular for this you can follow my this post in this post I have explained in very simple way how to install angular and full calendar into your angular, angular application and I will share this post ring in the video description now come to the node.js code and how we can call node.js api into my angular 8 application first of all i want to show you both of the terminals for node and angular here you can see the terminal for node.js to run the node file simply we have to write node space node.js server started working fine now come to the angular here is my angular terminal first I have installed full calendar with npm i full calendar command after it I have installed movement.js module into my angular 8 application with the command npm i movement don't worry you can see all these commands into this post now come to the node.js code here is my node file code I have installed express.js and codes module into my node and here you can see the route path and this is the API path that I have called into my angular 8 application and here you can see that path HTTP this to HTTP get this is the node path subscribe data this dot event this is my angular variable data dot events and this is the data is coming from the node backend and here I have called the full calendar with the help of jQuery I have also installed jQuery in my angular application and you can see that also into the post link below in the video description here I have called full calendar events this dot events and this is my angular variable 
here my HTML file div dot id calendar that id is this one for calling the event data I have used SCPP client module and SCPP client you have to import that HTTP client into your angular component file this is very simple guys if you have any query and I, any kind of question then you can comment below this post or below this video description and next one or two days I will come with more post regarding to node angular and laravel and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you guys have a nice day thanks a lot